to another vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging the next couple of days, and so today is Monday, June 27. And what you guys saw in the first scene, your girl did go out this weekend in Miami, and you guys, it was a lot going on. So um, right now I'm actually getting ready to head out because it's Monday, I have a lot to do. I'm gonna be viewing some apartments and then I'm thinking about taking a fitness class later today. It is my day off. So yeah, I'm just getting myself together. Today is a no makeup day. And by the way, I just took my acrylics off, so I have to get my nails done and everything. July 1st is coming up and that's gonna be like the middle of the year. So I've just been trying to, you know, make sure that everything's situated. Um, and just staying organized and just running all my errands and everything because I have a long week ahead of me, a long working week ahead of me. So um, because today is also my day off, I'm just gonna be running around. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, apartment hunting and everything. But um, while I'm getting ready real fast, I just wanna tell you guys, this last weekend in Miami was just a lot going on. I did end up going to Fogo de Chayo for dinner. And if you guys don't know, that's like a Brazilian steakhouse where they bring you a whole bunch of different meats you can try. A lot of the meats they brought me was like steak and stuff. So it was really good. But if you don't like red meat, then that is not the restaurant for you. But your girl love red meat. And so, <laughs> A lot to do in Miami, a lot. Anyways, your girl did end up buying some skincare yesterday. I was in Sephora, so when I get back home tonight, um, I'm gonna use some of my new skincare products and everything like that. You guys are always asking, about, you guys are always asking about my skincare routine. So even though these are new products that I'm trying out, we're gonna do like a little unwind tonight, and you know, I'm just gonna chit chat with you guys about everything, but. I do have an appointment to view two apartments today because your girl is planning on moving very soon. And so I'm going to bring you guys along with that. I'm super excited. I have like a list of like 10 apartments that I want to view. And so I really have to knock that out the way as soon as possible so I can decide which apartment I plan on moving in. I think I'm going to stop at Starbucks before. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do my nails today depending on how the day is going. I'm going to book this fitness class. And yeah, so today is just a really um, busy day. I don't have on any makeup, by the way. Look at the skin. Like, it's giving. It's just like a really chill day. And so, um, yeah, we're about to head out. So I'll probably see you guys once I reach the apartments. And by the way, I will not be telling the name of the apartments because I don't know if one of the apartments that I show is going to be the one that I end up picking. So obviously for privacy reasons, I cannot show you the name, but I have no problem putting the price or whatever for you guys because I don't know if you guys want to move or I know that I know that some of you guys are going to be curious. So, but that's just what that is. And yeah, so you girls about to head out on this lovely Monday. So I will see you guys soon. Outra is the same. It also has the double sink. Okay. Um, and by the way, I'm you can post video, video however you want. But so you know, on the website, you can see everything. Okay. And you can see it like, you know, okay. like, you have the double sink. The stove is, you know, stainless steel, but it doesn't have the double oven. Okay. It has one oven. Okay. And the refrigerator is a stainless steel. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is also, you know, nice, mm -hmm. comfortable. Yes. AC unit and tankless water heater. Mm -hmm. So for what we saw on the measurements, uh, mm -hmm. the one bedroom, the bedroom is a little bit bigger than this. Mm -hmm. So you can get an idea. This is a king size bed. Mm -hmm. And that's the walk-in closet, which is different than the one on the on the one bedroom because the one on the one bedroom is like a, like a triangle. Oh. Okay. Smaller. Mm -hmm. If it has bathtub, it's the same than that one. If you want to get closer and look at it, because it's nice. Yes. Appliances. We're gonna have stainless steel. Okay. Um. As you can see, we have. A humidifier monitor, a medium monitor. If you move in, that's something that's gonna go over, mm -hmm. you know, keeping the temperature at mm -hmm. a certain. That's the balcony. The balcony is really nice here, mm -hmm. and a really cool added feature. Okay. So 
so I'm back home. I only viewed two apartments today. I do have a list of other apartments that I do want to view. So sometime within this week and next week, I want to just view all the apartments so that I can decide where I want to live. Um, I've just been having a lot of thoughts like about where I want to live. Should I really sign this lease here? Um, the two apartments that I looked at today, so the first one I like, the second apartment I did not like, even though they did not show me a modern apartment. Um, I just been really been thinking like, is Miami even the place for me? Don't get me wrong, I really love it here, but I don't have anything that's stopping me from moving anywhere. I'm like, do I really want to? Before I sign my lease, I'm just thinking, is this really the city that I, that I even want to live in? And I've just been thinking a lot. I do plan on visiting Houston next month. So I'm going to visit Houston. And to be honest, I just feel like you get more for your money in other states because I do plan on buying property. Like, there's a lot that I plan on doing. So I don't want to buy property in Miami. I feel like if you buy property in Georgia, Houston, you really get more for your money. Right now, the average rent in Miami is like, if you want a modern apartment, it's like 2200 2300 2400 2500 like that's the that's the average like that's just what the normal rate is going for and don't get me wrong i can't afford it like i have proof bank statements and all of that like i can't afford it but it's like do i really want to waste my money like that like i just feel like my money is going down the drain but even if I even even if I do end up not moving to a different state but staying in Miami, I really think like it's only gonna be for a year because I just know that I don't wanna raise my kids in Miami. I don't wanna buy property here, so I just kind of, I guess you say, I don't know if it's like a midlife crisis, but I've just been doing like a lot of thinking about where I really want to settle down. Don't get me wrong, I love Florida, but if I was to live in Florida, I would just want to live in Miami. So it's like it's either, I'm, it's either I'm in Miami or I'm out the state, period. But anyways, I am going to look at some more apartments and, you know, just still trying to decide if I want to stay in Florida or should I just up and move to Houston, like... I feel like when you're younger, it's a time to really just make all your life decisions. I know how it feels to be living in a city and then just having, because I'm originally from New York, so I used to live in New York, and so I know how it feels to be living in a city and then just have to move, leave your friends behind. Like, I know how that feels. I visited Atlanta one time and it was okay, but I'm like, maybe I should visit it one more time because when I went, I just, I just really wasn't feeling the vibes out there. Like, people, like nobody was really friendly you know even when i went to the mall they was telling me oh my gosh people breaking the cars a lot it's just a lot that goes on and i know that people break into cars everywhere because that's just live what living in the city does but um i just wasn't feeling the vibes out there it was just a lot going on so i'm like maybe i should visit there one more time should i could afford to pay twenty three hundred dollars of rent but do i really want to pay that and not be living in my dream apartment for twenty three hundred dollars you get what i'm saying so i'm just really I really just been trying to decide exactly where I want to live and so um yeah if you live in Houston or Atlanta comment down below and let me know how you like it um do you recommend your girl is definitely working on some really big things um is Houston a good city to start open up a business open up businesses because my next, trying to figure out what my next move is going to be where my next move is going to be am I going to stay in Miami am I going to go to a different state so that's that but I do plan on coming to Houston next month and um yeah I'm just gonna I know a couple people out there and so I'm just gonna visit around and just see what everything is like I need to know what the nightlife is like because right now I do work nightlife and so I need to know like is niggas blowing a bag in Houston like how they blow a bag in Miami like I need to know all of this okay <laughs> seriously um i do have some jamaican food so i'm about to eat and then i'm about to book this pole fitness class that i'm going to tonight you know it's my day off i just want to do something fun get a workout in i've been trying to book pilates for the longest a pilates class they are always booked out like it like i feel like the girls is really doing pilates because they're always booked and so i'm gonna see if i can get into i don't know i think i got bit by a mosquito because i keep right here but i'm gonna see if i can get to a pilates class next week but i definitely want to do something fun today you know pole is a very fun way to work out okay so ever sleep on pole it helps you to feel sexy it really tones your body you know before the pandemic happened me and my sister was taking pole classes and it was so fun like i really love it and you know just a great atmosphere to be in so i'm like you know what i want to get a workout in today so we're gonna do some poles so i'm about to book this pole session do some work on my computer eat my food and then i'll probably um come in 
and then i'll bring you guys to my poll class today and then tonight we're gonna do like some skincare and i'm gonna talk to you guys about what's been going on with the bbl updates and all of that so yeah um this money has been going pretty good and july 1st is coming up too so i have to go in my finances and log it in it's a year of self-improvement self-discovery just finding myself and you know just elevating so um that's that i've also it's just a lot i've been working on so i'm about to work on that and i'll see you guys later tonight at the pole class okay all right <laughs> So I just got home from pole class. I took a shower and everything, and now I'm about to do some skincare. I do have some goodies that I got from Sephora, so we just couldn't use all of it. And I also got a mask, so I'm going to use the mask first. Or should I use the? Cause I got three items, so I got this cream from C O Afterglow Sun Sunday Riley, and this is their vitamin C. I got a mask, and then I also have a vitamin C oil. So I think I'm going to go in with the mask first, and I'm just gonna put this on. And yeah, this is my first time using this mask. I'm just gonna put this mask on and just talk to you guys and tell you guys um what's been going on with me. So. Um, I'm gonna have to wash my face first and then put this mask on. So we're just gonna do that. It says to apply the mask to clean dry skin. So I just removed everything. But yeah, so I really have fun at the pole class. It is an amazing workout, but my body feels so sore right now. I feel like pole is just a great way to really tone your body. And so I really enjoyed it. And your girl is definitely going back because, you know, pole is definitely something that you want to be consistent with. And this is how the mask looks. By the way, I'm definitely getting my nails done. I never go a long period of time without my nails done. This is very, very, very rare. It's only because I had so much to do today, so I didn't have any time to stop at the salon. But the girls that get it, get it. So we're just going to put this on. It says to leave on for five minutes. So uh, it, it does smell pretty good, I must say. I'm just gonna tap this right into the skin. And by the way, you guys are always asking me about my skincare routine. I'm gonna show you guys what I actually use on my skin. When I went to Sephora, I just picked up a whole bunch of new products, but I'm definitely gonna do a skin routine of a skincare routine of what I actually use so that you guys can see. Um, you know, my normal products. These are just all new things. So we're just gonna keep this in, but yeah. Your girl is definitely going to be doing pole. I kind of want to tell you guys about what's been going on with my BBL and everything like that. Do you guys 
probably don't know, but my six month BBL mark is coming up. Hold on, let me set my timer for my skin care mask so that I don't have this on. So my six month BBL um, is approaching soon. July 4th is going to make it six months since I had my BBL. I definitely do plan on filming a BBL update, but just to kind of let you guys know what's been going on. I really want to talk to you guys about pregnancy, about being pregnant after BBL. Pregnant after BBL, like, I really... Okay, so I'm taking the mask off. Yeah, so a lot of people have been, um, you know, asking me why didn't I wait until I had kids to get a BBL, why do it before you have kids, wait until you have kids, why do it before you have kids, wait until you have kids, all of that. And to be honest, and I feel like when it comes to any cosmetic procedure, I prefer to do it before I have children just because I really don't plan on having kids no time soon. Like, I really want to wait until you know, um, I'm at a certain place in life before I settle down and have kids. And so if I don't have my first child until, let's just say, if I don't have my first child until I'm 33, 34, I don't want to wait until I'm 35 years old to just be getting a BBL. Because let's be honest, when you get your body done, you're going to want to be outside. You're going to want to be just as sexy. You're going to want to be like out there. So it's like, do I really want to wait until I'm in my mid-30s to, you know, finally get the body of my dreams like why wait that long you know what i'm saying like if i had my kids like at a younger age then yeah it would have worked out but because i know i don't want kids right now i'm like i'm gonna get that body now you know so i could be outside so that when i do settle down and have kids i'm not trying to pose on the gram and be lit showing off the body and everything so like why not do that now while you're young get the bbl now Get the breast implants now while you're young so you can, you know, be outside, have fun. And that's kind of what I've been doing, just having all my fun now so that when I do settle down and have kids, I done got all of that out of my system. I done had the body. I done had the breasts. I done had everything. And, you know, if after you have kids, you want to do a second round, wow, just really make your face very matte. Like, I really love it. It says matte and purifying. I love the way it makes my skin feel. And I'm just letting it air dry right now. But yeah, go out, have fun, get all that out your system now so that when you do have kids and everything, you can feel good. Like, even if you already have kids, then I feel like it's perfect. But I feel like don't try to put down women that have surgery before having kids because that's just the order that we prefer. So it's like, I'm not really worried about being pregnant after BBL because, you know, I'm not really BBL because at least I was able to enjoy my body first, you know. So that's just kind of how the way that I think about it. I just rather um, do all these things before I have kids, you know. And if my body naturally snatches back after I have a baby, then awesome. If not, your girl might have to do lipo again because, baby, like I've gotten so used to having a flat stomach that if my stomach became really big, I will definitely do lipo again. But of course, I will try to work out to get rid of the fat and all of that. And you know, lipo will probably be my last option. But once you get used to having a flat stomach, it's like. You just want it to be flat always. So I really love how matte this mask make my skin. It feels so matte. And this is how your girl is looking. But I really just want to talk about that because I get that question asked a lot. Like, you should wait, you should wait, you should wait. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like you should definitely wait if you're 18, 19, 20, even 21, 22. If you're those ages, you should definitely wait because I feel like you do get grown women wait on you do get grown women weight the older you get because once i turned 25 let me tell you guys weight just started to pack on to me like when i was in my early 20s i was skinny okay i was thick skinny and i had a nice shape but um once i reached 25 the weight i just started getting naturally thick so i definitely feel like if you're you know those ages that you should wait until your natural body forms that I definitely agree with. Like, you wait. But if you're, like, in your mid-20s, like I am, like, if you're 24, 25, 26, 27, go and And if you don't, if you're 24, 25, 26, 27, and you don't plan on having kids no time soon, get that dream body now, okay? And because there are also benefits. Like, BBL is definitely an investment. Just use it to your advantage. 
I'm going to say it again. A BBL is definitely an investment. Just use it to your advantage. However you want to take that is how you can take that. But anyways, um, I just finished up with this mask. And so I'm going to try this um, CEO Afterglow. And this is supposed to be a brightening vitamin C cream. I feel like if someone had like a lot of, even though I don't have any dark marks or anything, I always have love using like vitamin C because I really love my skin to look glowy, especially because I came from Mexico and I had like this tan. So it just says can be used more than a night to cleanse skin a part of face and neck. So we're going to see what's this hidden for. And then I'll probably do the serum after that. And yeah. We're going to see what this about right now. One thing about me, I don't be using like 200 different <laughs> face products. Like, I'm not even going to cap. I really don't. But I've just been trying to, you know, try out some different products and everything. So this is what it looks like. It's like a yellow. Mm, I don't like the way it smells, though. It's straight. I'm going to put a little bit on my skin and get a little bit more right now. And then we're just going to rub this all over. Put this back into. Especially because my face was feeling so matte. Yeah, I really don't like the smell of this at all. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think about pregnancy after BBL, being pregnant after BBL. Like, would you want to wait? Would you want to get it out the way before? Like, let me know what you guys think. But that's just kind of my take on it. And I do understand that it does make sense to wait until after. But I feel like for us girls that's not having kids right now, then it's just best to get it out the way. Okay. And so let me put this. And now I'm just going to go in with some vitamin C. I never use. This. Oh, my face be getting so clogged. Just going to rub this in. And then we're going to sleep. But my skin do feel extremely moisturized. Anyway, so I'm about to call it a night right now. I'll probably end up this vlog and start up a new one. I try to like vlog when I have more things going on. This is going to be a crazy work week. So because I work at night, go to sleep, wake up. It's just like a complete cycle. And so, um, yeah, it's back to work tomorrow, a long week. So yeah, I'm going to call out this vlog and start another one. And so I will see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Follow your girl on Instagram at glamdollpatrika. I'm about to head to bed right now. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.